Hello. Well, I need to move over because then I'm not in the middle. There we go. <laughs> hmm. Hello. 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 I have on my Russian gymnast um, jacket. <laughs> Hi, Virginia. Hello, friends. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Hey, Coach. <laughs> Vic 1958. Hello. Hello, Miss Virginia. Hi, Pam. Hey, Angela. How you doing? Hey, Martha. Hi, Denise. Patricia. All right. How's everybody doing? Hi, Jeffrey. How are you, my friend? You're going to be my assistant coach today? All right. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I just said that. I think it was before I actually went, went live. I said, I have on my Russian gymnast um, uh, jacket today. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Hi, Poppy. Hey, Ramola. Carrie. Hi, Ju Ola, Jules. Ola. Oh, my God. I'm freezing, guys. This weather sucks. <laughs> I'm doing good, Jeffrey. I'm hanging in there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just missing my whistle. I can't even whistle anymore. Well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> hey, Jackie. How are you? I'm telling you, it is windy here and it's cold. I think it's in the 40s. Hey, Denise, you're making sauce and meatballs. Yummy. Yummy. Yeah, I brought the rest of the sauce and meatballs to my daughter so she could have some. You're freezing too. What's the temperature in, in Kentucky right now? I bet it's raining, isn't it? <laughs> It's always raining. <laughs> Hi, Roxanne. 46 in Ohio. Hey, Kathy. Ooh, that's, uh, you guys are all going to be making pasta now. Dial up one of those hot flashes. Hi, Deb. <laughs> I'm telling you, Angela, that's about what it is here, I swear. It's 58 where Jeffrey, let me see. Alexa, what's the temperature? Good afternoon, Deidre. Right now, it's 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 38 degrees. 44 with a low of 38. Yeah, that's great. Just great. 63 where sis is. Hey, sis. Broccoli and pasta. Oh, my mom used to make that. She, it was kind of like a soup. It was kind of like a soup. It's delicious. Hey, Contessa. Yeah, um, me too. I like any kind of pasta. Hello, Pamela Bug, you little pumpkin, you. How are you doing today? Hello, Miss Irene. I'm telling you, I can't even stand this weather. Hey, Robin. Lots of garlic. Yeah, it's, that's how she does it. Well, I, I made it before. She calls it broccoli and macaroni. Hey, Gabby girl. How are you? 
Hello, um, Leona. Martha Peller, did I say hello to you? Hi, sweetie. Um, yeah, I, br I brown, I don't, like, very low saute the garlic on really low to get flavored, like, in oil and flavor it. And then I put it, um, pour that in the water from the from the pasta, because that's what I use for the broth. Hi, Karina, how are you? Hey, Kathy Picasso cat. Yeah, and then I put the broccoli and I put some crushed red pepper, some grated Parmesan cheese. Hi, Karen K. I know, I'm hungry. I had a peanut butter sandwich. Oh, joy. <laughs> the diet went out the window a long while ago, so. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. I'm all out of my sparkling waters, so I'm back to drinking my iced tea. You're probably right, Patricia. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah, I like Parm I like Parmesan Romano blend. That's usually what I use. Parmigiano Romano. Hi, Jan. Um Yeah, right now I'm freezing, but I'm sure I'll get a hot flash and the jacket will come off for about 10 minutes, then I'll be freezing again. So, uh, three days a week. Three days a week. Hi, Christine. Yeah, but Picasso, where are you in Arizona? I forget where you're at. Penny pasta, yeah. She makes it with penne. She'll she'll use the cork uh the spiral cork corkscrews. That's what I thought. Yeah. Arizona. Hello, Cindy. I use uh, almond milk, but I just use the regular almond milk. I gotta I gotta get some groceries up in here. Because my fridge, the only thing in my fridge right now is the light bulb. <laughs> so. Oh, you had yard sales today? Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's too damn cold here for yard sales. They don't usually start till like May sometime. Hi, Robin Boyd. Hi, Joan. I thank you guys for being here today. Y'all make my Saturdays. You really do. You crack me up. Robin, you're messing with me, aren't you? Because I already said hi to you twice. <laughs> you're trying to make me think I'm losing my marbs. <laughs> Hey, Karen Williams, how you doing? Aw, thanks, Jan. She said tee hee hee. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Diane. I got some pretty neat stuff today. I have... I have vintage jewelry. I have um I have a couple fairy lamps. I have some Christmas. I have some uh, um I have a be that beautiful hot pink afghan. Hi Karen Chase. Um I have some upcycles including a couple rolling pins. I don't know where Hazel Atlas is, but she wants a lemon rolling pin, and I got one. That's, yeah, that's how you make an entrance, all right. Um, 
Hey, Prairie Stone, Miss Karen. I had you at Fairy Labs. <laughs> oh, sis, I know. You should have saw me. I went right for the living room, and I just grabbed every single thing off of that shelf that was Fenton. <laughs> hey, Blueberry Barn Vintage. How are you? Yeah, I was just like, I'll take this and this and this and this, excuse me, and this. <laughs> Do you, Carrie? Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm quite proud of myself. I, um, I have really uh, downsized my, my stuff uh, big time. Oh my gosh, you should have saw my face. I was like, oh, 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 I was in my glory. I was in my glory. Um, so y'all don't forget now, hopefully Vinny doesn't have any issues um, with his um, internet, but Vinny uh, usually has a sale at six o'clock after me. And Miss Pamela Blanchard also has her sale at 8 o'clock. Uh, her and Kelly and sometimes Mark. And uh, Katie and Nate usually have a jewelry sale at 10 o'clock. Oh, yay! Yay! That's why it was such a big box, Denise. I'm sorry. Sometimes it can't be helped. Um... If Katie and Nate aren't having a sale, then um, Trisha from Sandy and Otto uh, also has a sale at 10 o'clock as well. Oh, is she? Gabby, you're going to be on with Pam tonight? Oh, God, yay! You know I'll be there. Well, I'm always there, but usually I only last for half the sale and then I pass out, but... We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, I also wanted to let everybody know that I will be combining my drop sale stuff uh, together with today's sale. Okay, just so y'all know, we'll, we'll combine them. Yay, Gabby. Um, also, my girl Donna, poor Donna, I don't know, she was under the weather. I don't know what was wrong with her, but... Um, that's why we had to cancel our sale, but we will reschedule. Um, as of right now, I don't know when, but we will be rescheduling. I haven't really been doing uh, many extra sales because of my inventory being so low. So um, I, I was just trying to get Donna back into the swing because she was out of the loop for a little bit. So I was trying to help her get back in the swing and I was going to do a sale with her, but, but we'll definitely, um, reschedule, um, next month. I don't even know if I'll be doing the, the drop sale hop. It depends how much stuff I have. Cause y'all know I don't buy very much anymore because of the prices. So, um, and I feel bad, um, a lot of people are contacting me wanting to buy things, but I I just can't sell anything before my sales because low inventory. And if I do that, that leaves me less stuff for my sales. So uh, maybe once the, the uh, garage sale season starts here and I can get out to some of these sales, I can get my inventory up again, and then I'll be able to do that, at least for the summer. We'll see what happens. But but anyway, thank you guys uh, for being here today. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for me if you didn't already. Um, I have not Picasso because I would have to have the stuff shipped. Um, 
because I don't drive on the throughway, so I would have to have stuff. Um, Aw, thank you, my goofy-looking bun, such as it is. Um, yeah, so I, you know, I have not, but uh, I could. I could look into it. I definitely could look into it. Um, I do have a few people that are, um, that are sending me things I'm purchasing from them. Um, hi, Joanne. I was going to say, I just saw someone walk by my window. It's next door. It's 87 in Florida. Well, how lovely. It's 44 here. Yeah, I don't have any flea markets around me here. Um, so, unfortunately. Um, do they really? I'll have to look into it. I definitely will look into it. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how Jan's doing. Um, so anyway, guys, um, I have a variety of items today and I'm going to get started. Uh, anybody who's new here, um, Virginia Hello has periodically been putting a link in the chat for my aunt, my uh, live sale registration. Hello, Eugenia. So um, if you think you might want to participate in the sale today, please be sure and click that link and fill out the form. And um, you only have to do it once. Okay. And just send it to me and you'll be good. I ship from New York State. And I use pirate ship. Hi, Helen Melcher. How are you, love? <laughs> um, it is. It's still up. I don't take it down. But it's still up. I only had four things that didn't sell. So I did pretty good on the drop sale. Um, Miss Angela is going to do my starts and my stops for me. Hi, Roseanne. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let's get started, shall we? Hello, Miss Gypsy Moon. I am good. How are you? All right, I'm going to start with a few small items. Um, I have this beautiful milk glass. I'm going to call this a soap dish. This is beautiful. And you can see the ring of fire through the tips of this. It is a beautiful leaf pattern with little ball feet on the bottom. Hi, Brigia. How are you, sweetie? Um, and believe it or not, there's no chips or uh, cracks on any of these uh, leaf tips. Hi, Kay. Hi, Robin Cormay. Um, so, I mean, this... Hi, Mozzie. Hello. Um, this is $13, and it is number 13. $13, number 13. Oh, Virginia. Okay, you got it, love. Thank you. Miss Virginia. Lucky number 13. Um. Oh. Boy, I must be getting dyslexic because it, because it was $13, but it was number 31. But... Uh, you're good. You're good. You got it. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Hello, now. Hi, Helen Casey. Auntie Gabby. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I have three. I have giveaways today, too, guys. I forgot to mention that. I have three giveaways today. So if you purchase something from my sale today, you are eligible to participate at the end of the sale. So I've got this cute little uh, wooden basket that I am going to be giving away. And I have two mugs. I have a Christmas, hi Joe, a Christmas poo mug. And a snowman mug. These are nice tall mugs. Perfect for hot chocolate. Hi, Nancy. Did you really, Angela? Awesome. So those are my giveaways for today. Okay, getting back to the sale. Oh, thanks, Karen. Okay, my next item is this pair of cup and saucers. These are gorgeous, you guys. Um, all they say is made in Japan. But look at how beautiful these are. They're very thin. Here's the saucer. No chips, cracks, or flea bites on these. Here's the other one. Hey, Marianne, my sister from another mister. How you doing? So you will get um, the pair of these for $16, number four. $16, number four. Karen K., you got it. Thank you. These are beautiful. They really are. You know how thin, how thin they can be. But yeah, they're beautiful. I couldn't pass them up when I saw them. Okay, Miss Karen K., Thank you so much. Okay. Next up, I have um, these are from 1997. And these are going to be an offer up, Angela. Um, I'm starting them at $16 for the pair. And it is for the Bailey's Irish Cream Cups. And they are in perfect condition. I will show you one at a time. Oh, no, I lied. We have a little chip here on the bottom. Didn't even, I forgot about that, actually. I can touch that up, though. Um, I forgot all about that. They say yum on the inside. And here is the, here's the date, limited, 19, limited edition, 1997. And here is the girl. No chips or anything on her. She's perfect. How cool. That's a ponytail. I just realized that. Duh. Just realize that it says yum on the inside as well. And limited edition, 1997. Yeah, they are. They are very cool. I Anytime I see these when I'm out, I grab them. There's a lot of people that collect these. Did you guys know they also make like a teapot and all that stuff too? I didn't know that. I have never seen the teapot. I was really, really surprised. I couldn't believe it. But yeah, they make a whole like set. I was like, holy cow. Hi, Carrie Ann. All right, I I'm going to start counting them down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, <laughs> three, two, one, and sold. Hi, Donna in the Lurker's Lounge. Oh, they have a cookie jar too, Diane? Oh, see? Yeah. A cookie jar. Who knew? Hi, Roxana. All right, I see the salt. Congratulations, Kay. Yay. Congratulations. Okay, so, yeah, I think Donna was. Uh, hey, Jason, what's up, my friend? How are you? Um, so, Donna Kosick for 17. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> All right. Beach City's Thrifting. Hello, Beach City's Thrifting. Welcome to my crazy family. <laughs> if you like to have fun, you're at the right place because we like to have fun here. Hey, Heidi, how are you? There is Hazel Atlas. What's up, my friend? How's your ankle? What did you do to it anyways? My girl Hazel did something to her ankle and she can't drive. All right. It's broken in three places. Girl, were you drunk or something? <laughs> Holy crap. I'm all right there, Heidi. I'm just wishing for some hot weather soon, or at least warm weather. Oh, my word. You really tore yourself up. Okay. Um, my next item is an offer up. And... Hold on. Is it Jan? Um, it's going to start at $20. Hi, Lenny. How are you? Dang, I just can't see Hazel walking around on some crutches. <laughs> that has to be quite a sight. All right, so starting at $20, I have this beautiful fairy lamp. But before you bid, let me just show you. There is a chip on the underside right here. On the underside of the plate. Um, that is the only uh, issue that this fairy lamp has. I, I don't see these very often. I just think this is gorgeous. Um, I love it. I have, um, I have a glass votive holder on the inside with a candle in it. That way you don't have melted wax all over the, you know, the underplate. But this is just beautiful. And it looks even better. Like you could see... It, it, it would give off a beautiful pattern. Uh, it's And it's a decent size. Let me measure it for you guys. Uh, 
Okay, the under, the, the plate, hold on. The plate is six and three quarter inches. And then with the lid on it, ow, that's hot. <laughs> with the lid on it, it is four and a half inches tall. Yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. And of course, I have every light on in here, so it's not doing it any justice. But trust me, it is a stunner. It is a stunner. Okay, I see Karen K is uh, in for 20. I have never like broken anything except like toes. Thank goodness. I probably just jinxed myself, but knock on wood. I know it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. All right, I'm going to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7. Hey, Janet, how you doing? <laughs> there she is. <laughs> yeah, but I got my heart broken plenty too. Hi, Barb Connolly. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, my God, Barb. Hi, Barb JM. I broke my toe hopping over um, the gate we used to put up to keep the dog out of the living room. Yep, I was jumping over it and hit it dead on with my baby toe. Oh, my God. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and sold, <laughs> Angela. <laughs> Come on over, get in your car, bring a trailer. I don't drive on the throughway, Karen, or I mean Karen, damn it. Jan, <laughs> no, you can't do anything for broken toes except tape it to the one next to it to keep it straight. Hi, Marilyn. Yeah, that's why I, I, I it's a phobia. I just, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Um. Okay, so that's going to go to Karen K for 20. All right, congratulations, Karen, and thank you. It's not an uncommon phobia? Okay, good. Then I don't feel so bad. Hello, here we go. Hell no, you're not picking me up on no motorcycle. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. I want a roof and four doors. <laughs> that is not happening. <laughs> hey, fly girl, what up? Okay. All right, Jan. <laughs> yeah, broken toes hurt like hell. They really do. All right. Well, I'm going to do a couple pieces of jewelry that I have today. All right. This piece is, uh, I think this is Monet. Oh, no, this is a, wait a minute, hold on. 
Sarah Coventry. This is a Sarah Coventry gold tone with all these little rhinestones. And all the rhinestones are prong set. And I just love this. I think this is so pretty. Um, show you. It's got a fish hook um, clasp. Really, Angela? Yeah, because I can't. I get, I even get anxiety in the car with somebody else driving, but not, if, not anywhere like if I was driving. Hi, Karen. So, again, it's a Sarah Coventry. You can see... You know, I didn't measure them, but you could see where where it drops. It's got a pretty um, center stone. It's beautiful. Hey, Cupid. This is going to be uh, $15, number 45. $15, number 45. Hey, Gin Fizz. Barb Connolly, you got it. Thank you, Miss Barb. It's beautiful. And I looked it over and I don't see any missing uh, stones on it or anything. So, I mean, it's beautiful. All right. Let me get that out of my face. All right. Now, you guys, I'm talking, I'm talking vintage here. Uh, this is, y'all remember Javinci? All right. Look at this honker of a necklace. Now, you can see it has it has some wear. Now, I don't know if that could be, like, buffed or not, but this is Javenchi, and I'm like, that is so cool. There's your clasp. Um, this would be, this would be fabulous. If you, for Halloween, if you were dressing up like Cleopatra or something like that. But, the, oh, I'm telling you, that's a statement piece, all right. Yes. Very, very cool piece. Very cool piece. Uh, gold tone. It's in really good condition, except for, you know, the wear on this part. And I can show you. Whoops, hold on. You're not going to be able to read it, but right here, it says Javenchi. So, this is going to be $20, number 50. $20, number 50. That's a really cool statement piece for sure. Well, I figured because of the, you know, the wear on that gold part, but, you know, what do you, what do you expect when it's that old? I mean, that's probably from, from when? Maybe the 70s? I think the 70s. Oh, no. Okay, you got it now. Thank you, love. Yeah, I think it's very cool. I actually wish that this here was like it is on the back. I wish this was on the front instead. Hey, Steve Schultz. All right, I'm just going to set this over here. 
All right. Um, I will go back to jewelry because I have lots. Okay. Now, guys, I just do not have luck with the denture tablets getting out the film on clear glass. Hi, Julie. I have this gorgeous basket that has that film. See that? Now, I tried bong cleaner. I filled this up and I let it sit for two days. And it would not come out. But this is such a beautiful basket. I mean, and this is a big one. This is not the regular size one. This is a big one. And it's got that beautiful etched pattern on it. Um, the basket is 11 inches tall. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just, I, like I said, I even tried, um, yes, it's, it's a, I've never seen them this big. Um, Scott had one that he had in a sale recently, and I found this one the very next day that I saw it on his sale. So how funny is that? But nonetheless, it's still a beautiful piece. Uh, no damage on it at all. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. This is going to be $18, number 26. $18, number 26. Coral and black lapis and marcasite earrings. I know. Yeah, I don't have any lime away, you know, so I tried the denture tabs and I tried the um the bong cleaner and it was a no go. Oh, Martha. Okay, Martha. Thank you. It's a beautiful basket nonetheless. And if you put stuff in it, you won't even notice that. All right, Miss Martha. Hey, Margo. How you doing? <laughs> I thought so too, Margo. All right, guys. Give me one second. I want to light this. If it'll light for crying out loud, geez. <clears throat> I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it light for a minute. Um, I'm doing, I'm doing. I have, this is a really cool piece. I think it's really unique. Look at this piece. How cool is this? It's like stained glass cradle and it holds this little, this little glass planter. Isn't that cool? I'm like, I'm grabbing that. I mean, this is awesome. And you know, it's got a loop up here. I wonder if you could hang this from this loop. I don't know if it's supposed to be hung. But I mean, I just love it. I absolutely love it. And the, um, the little glass thing, you could put a candle in here. Or you could put, a, I think it. You could put a candle in it or a plant, um, but there's no uh, no chips or cracks on this. And this is going to be $16, number eight. 
$16, number eight. I know, isn't it neat? I love it. Look at that, Gypsy Moon. She likes that piece. I love it. I think it's so cool. Hi, Sandra Garcia. Thanks, Gypsy. All right. The next item is a thrift flip, and it's an offer up. Did you really? Oh my God, I bet that was awesome to do. All right, guys. Angela, this is going to start at $16. And it is the planter that I did in my Thrift Flip Thursday video. <laughs> I am in love with this planter, okay? This came out so amazing that I can't even stand it. Oh my word. Oh, I absolutely love this. I have to make, um, I'm going to make another one for myself. Um, so if you saw my video on Thursday, my thrift flip, uh, Thursday video, I showed you how I made this and I am just in love with it. Um, the greenery doesn't come with it. The greenery is just for staging purposes. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Denise. Yes, I just, I was ecstatic with the way it came out. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Oh, let me show you the bottom. There's the bottom. Thank you, Patricia. Hi, Bonita. Who else came in that I missed? Oh, Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, thanks, Patricia. Oh, I will. I'll sign it. I'll sign it on the bottom. Thank you. Hi, Doris. Thank you. All right. I'm going to count it down. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sold. Thank you, Poppy. And hello, Randy. How you doing? All right, I see the sold. Maggie, thank you so much. And thank you everybody that offered on that. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Bonnie. Aw, thanks, Bonnie. All right, so let me see. Where is it? Uh, 38 to Maggie. All right. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I was very pleased with it. I was like, oh my God, you know what it is? It's the, it's the mold that I used to put the border. I got it from... Let me tell you guys what, Timu, you need to go there for craft uh, supplies. I'm telling you, because they've got some amazing, really good items. Oh, uh, I didn't, thank you, Maggie. <laughs> thank you. Okay, next I have this. This is 
really cool. Look at this. Oh, absolutely, Gypsy, absolutely. This is really nice for an outdoor space. Oh, I never heard of them. Are they pronounced sheen or shine? Believe it or not, this at one time cost, hold on a minute. Okay, I know I saw a, pro hold on. $29.95 sheen. Okay, got it. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I hear people complain because I'm buying from China or whatever, but you know what? I ain't rich, so I buy what I can afford, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. So, again, this was originally 30 damn dollars. <laughs> like, sure, okay. Um... This is going to be $18, number 33. $18, number 33. And I'll even send the candle with it. Because I got 10 million candles. Sandra, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> right, Denise? <laughs> That's right. I, I'd be poor, so I buy what I can afford, and I don't care. Hey, hence, I'm a thrifter. Hello? Hallmark movie tonight, Falling in Love in Niagara. Really? <laughs> All right. Sandra Garcia got that one. Thank you, Sandra. I've fallen in love several times in Niagara, and guess what? I'm single. <laughs> I'm single. And I'm staying single. Okay. Uh, let me do this guy. This is so cute. You're very welcome, Sandra. Um, this is, let me find it here because I don't know where I put my price tag. It's probably on the bottom. <laughs> well, there was one I, I would have liked to have, but you know, and I could have done it from the Canadian side because he was Canadian. <laughs> um... Where the hell is it? Okay, this is a flat priced item. <laughs> I just love this little guy. Look at that face. How cute, that crooked smile. I am just loving, Oh, thanks Sally, hi Sally. I just love the black and white check with the snowman. I just think it's so cute. I know, isn't it cute? And it's a, you know, it's a jar of some kind. I mean, you could put whatever in here, you know, cookies or... It's in perfect condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. I absolutely love him. He is... Uh, sixteen dollars. Number, hold on. Twenty-eight. Sixteen dollars. Number twenty-eight. You do too, yeah. Karen K. <laughs> Karen K. She's another snowman lover. All right, let me spin this around and see if I could fit him over here. 
There we go. There we go. Miss Karen K is going to take that. All right. There we go. Thank you, Miss Karen. Alrighty, um, for my owl lovers that are out there, I just have this. This is cute. It's just a plain little piece. He got a little bit bent, but I have this little metal owl that you can hang outside. So I, there's a piece of wire on here, but there's also this uh, metal uh, loopy thing as well. You could take the um, the wire off, but you could see where it got a little bit bent here. I just thought he was really cute. So this guy is 10 bucks, number 39. 10 bucks, number 39. Yes, he would look really cute in a garden for sure. And I see Miss Virginia. Oh, yes, hanging on a tree as well. That's another good idea. Let me hang him back over here where he was. There we go. Virginia. Thank you, Miss Virginia. All right. This next item, you guys, I am so excited to be able to have this finally in one of my sales. If you saw my estate sale video, you saw how excited I was over finding a cord. For this 1930s percolator with the Bakelite handle. This is an offer up, Angela, and it is starting at $30. I have had this in my stash for quite a while. And... There was no cord with it, but I have been lucky finding cords at estate sales. So I bought it anyway, and sure enough, at the estate sale, my buddy Rich, that always ends up working in the kitchen during the sales, found me the cord for it. And I plugged it in, and it works perfectly. Oh, look, I mean, it is just beautiful. Fantastic condition. Um, it is made by Farber Wear. There's all your information on the bottom. Yeah, but Scott already has his own. And he uses it all the time. But I have a I have an electric um, percolator as well. But mine's not from the 1930s. Yes. Oh, absolutely, Karen. Absolutely. Yes. And I have the I didn't bring the cord out because what's what's the sense? I you know. But yes, I and I tested it out yesterday, and it works perfectly. I'm going to tell you what. These things make coffee pretty quick. They really do, I'm like surprisingly. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do, Hazel. Especially if it's fresh and not left over from the day before. <laughs> I don't like to waste stuff. I'm not throwing out perfectly good coffee. 
It just makes me wake up quicker when it's a day old. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, it does. It really does. <laughs> All right. I don't even want to touch it. I don't want to get fingerprints on it. <laughs> Heck no. Never waste coffee. Oh, and it does have the inners. Just got to get it in that little hole in the bottom. Um, let me see. I know it's got to make at least eight. What does that say? Yeah, no, it doesn't say um, but I know it's got to be at least eight cups. I don't know if it turns off automatically um, because I didn't leave it plugged in long enough. I just wanted to plug it in and just make sure that it worked. So that I don't know. But yeah, I do not know. I would not think it would have auto shut off being as old as it is though. But it does, it stops perking when it's done. So, okay. I'm going to start to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Oh, really? Let me see. Yeah, I don't see anything. I don't see anything on it. Oh, Cece. Hi, Cece. That's okay. No worries there, Julie. I wouldn't have never thought to look on the actual... Um, on the basket. Congratulations, Cece. Um, you are very welcome. Hot flash. <laughs> Here goes the sweatshirt. All right. Woo. <laughs> Okay, guys, I have two Thrift Flips rolling pins. I have a lemon one. I put a little, little bow on it with matching ribbon. Okay, this is $16, number 18, $16, number 18. There went the jacket, yep. <laughs> Barb Connolly, you got it. Thank you.
Thanks, Barb. All right, and then I have this one. You are welcome. I do have um so one of my one of my friends here on YouTube, um Lori sent me a box of goodies and two of the things in the box were these two rolling pins. So Lori, oh my god, thank you so much. My 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 friends here love my my thrift flipped flip flip rolling pins. <laughs> Um, this one has the red handles, and I did this one in a floral, uh, a floral transfer, daisies, and then it's, it has a little, uh, poem here about daisies, and I just love this one. I absolutely love how this came out. Um, I could read the poem really quick. Daisies with their rose-tipped silvery rays spreading around the yellow boss within, and some most prized that had not yet displayed their fairy circle, but emerging new from their green hermitage, seemed as they blushed beneath the ardent sun's admiring gaze. So there you have it. <laughs> um, this one is also $16. Where did my sticker go? It fell off. Oh, here it is. Duh. $16, number 51. $16, number 51 for the daisy one. Karen K. Thanks, Karen. Hello, Melissa. I didn't see you earlier. All right. Thanks, guys. All righty. Next up, so I have these again because I don't know what happened, but the person, the person never paid me for them. So I canceled the invoice and I am reselling them. Um, these are going to be an offer up, Angela. I'm selling them um, separately, but they do go together. Because somebody might only want one. Um, I got them on um I think it was my girl um Vonda at the painted heirloom. The painted heirloom and their IOD transfers. They're the new ones that just came out for spring. And they're called The Lover of Flowers, I think. Um, all right. So these are going to start at $18 each. And it is for these gorgeous Czechoslovakian ewers. So they are, they are different but they go together. Do you know what I'm saying? These are just beautiful. They're not marked, but I know, I know they're, they're Czechoslovakian. I could just tell. And so this is the first one. Yes, yeah, CC. I don't know what happened. Right. And I and I feel bad but for canceling, but I, you know, I'm, I'm running a business. So there's that one, and then here's this one. Yeah, and I mean, I sent 
I sent two or three reminders and I also uh, sent an email with a link for the invoice, you know, to, to dot all my I's and cross my T's and nothing happened. So I had to cancel it. Um, well, he must be because he tried to buy something at my, my drop sale, but it was already sold. Everyone's saying, hey, Tyler. Hello. He said, hello. Okay, it is seven inches tall to the top of the handle. Seven inches tall. All right, so I see gin at 18. All right, if there's no other interest, I'm going to count these down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Yeah, and they're in perfect condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. So, they're beautiful. I'm just thinking about it now. I should have kept them. <laughs> but, all right, I see the sold. So, my girl, Jin. Um, do you want one or do you want both? You let me know, girl. Let me know. Both. Oh, all right. You got it. You got them. Thank you very much. Okay, Jen. Thank you, ma'am. They are gorgeous. That is for sure. Okie dokie. All right. Okay, Angela. This next item is an offer up. And it is going to start at, if I can find it, uh, $25. Um, this was a hand painted and signed item. Well, easier said than done, um, Gypsy. Easier said than done. Because sometimes there are extenuating circumstances. But, I mean, if it happens, you know, two or three times, then absolutely not. Um, I've never really had a problem. I did have a problem one other time with this person, but for some reason they never got the invoice. So that's why I made sure that I um, emailed the invoice as well. Now I do have a candle in here and I know you can't see it, but I did show a picture of this lit up and I will show you that picture again because it is just beautiful at nighttime. Look at this, you guys. Look at this thing lit up at night. Is that not amazing? Oh, my word. And here is the signature, and it's dated 1979. 
I'm just going to take the candle out because you can't see it anyway. Um, and there's no chips, cracks, or flea bites on this. Um, I have looked it over, and I'm looking over it again. It's beautiful. Oh, shoot. Let me put my damn... <laughs> my my uh, sail back on here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start to count it down. This is beautiful. OMG, I can't believe I'm selling it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. This goes over there. All right, I see the sold. Holy moly, Eugenia! <laughs> Where did you come from, girl? <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much. Jeffrey, oh my God, Jeffrey, you got sniped, my dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness thank you guys wow we need a smoke <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, it, I, girl, you should have saw my face when I saw it on the shelf at Goodwill. I said, OMG. I snatched that so fast it wasn't funny. All right. My next item. Now we're going down to Blase is this beautiful, um, genuine uh, leather suede barrel purse. There's the bottom. It is in fabulous condition. I have it stuffed with paper, but it does say on the inside, um, genuine suede leather. It's in fantastic condition. Hold on. <laughs> the zipper works fine. I'm getting my hand stuck in the handles. Beautiful, beautiful purse. And this purse is $18. And I have the tag on the inside. It is $18 number 16 $18 number 16 beautiful purse beautiful I'm going to set it over here all right this next item was really popular and I have to say I was kind of shocked. But then again, I had never seen anything like this before. So I was shocked when I saw it. I'm like, wow, that is cooler than all get out. So this is going to be an offer up, Angela. And it's going to start at $16. Hi, Judy. How are you? And it is for this awesome um, uh, sl shawl with sleeves. So it goes like this. Oh. 
Hold on. I gotta fix it the right way. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I think I got it backwards, but anyways, look it. It's got sleeves on it, and you wrap it around yourself. And this was a handmade piece. It belonged to someone that was in a nursing home because they have their name tag on the inside. And this is a shrug. That's it, a shrug. Because somebody um, left it in the comments, and I couldn't believe, or I couldn't um, remember exactly what it was called, but a shrug. And I just think it's amazing. Oh, my goodness. How stinking cute is this? Oh, my God. Absolutely, Karen. Are you kidding me? Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to leave it on. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, I don't, I just, I, I never saw one. I have never seen one of these before. And I was like, that is just the coolest thing since potato chips. I had to, I had to pick it up. Um, okay, I see Carrie at 17. Great for the hot flashes, yeah, because it's opened up. <laughs> I'm definitely not Vanna. <laughs> but anyways... <laughs> I'm just watching myself. I'm such a dork. Uh, all right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. <laughs> Oh, do you, Heidi? <laughs> oh, dear. A seasoned Vanna, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Heidi. Melissa for 18. Congratulations. A shrug. I got her. I can remember that, I think. <laughs> um number. 12. No, that's the wrong one. It's number two. No, it isn't. What the hell? I have the wrong number on there. <sighs> there it is. Okay, so happy 420. You know, I think I probably could should partake in some of that. $18, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, I have this beautiful hot pink afghan. This is gorgeous, and it measures 80 by 54. 80 inches long by 54 wide. So this is nice if you're really tall, <laughs> but not heavy. <laughs> it is an amazing condition. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this is $22, number 19. No, I'm sorry, I put the wrong price. $24, number 19. $24, number 19. Ah, 
I almost snacked over my stuff. Beautiful. Oh. I'm taking out my table full of stuff. All right. Let me set this over here, guys. All right. Sandra Garcia. Thank you, Miss Sandra. All righty. Now, what did this come off of? Oh, came off of there. And this came off. I, I got stickers. Some of these things were supposed to be in my sale with Donna. I thought I took the old price tags off, but apparently not because I'm finding double price stamps. <laughs> Okay. Somebody bought the match to this at a previous sale. And I don't remember who it was. This is an offer up starting at... Twenty dollars. And this is a needle point. I believe it's needle point. And um, I had bought the, the other one at an estate sale. And there were two. They had one in the living room and one in the bedroom. The one in the bedroom was way cheaper than the one in the living room. So I only bought one of them. Then I found this the other one at the thrift store. <laughs> yes, this is gorgeous. And I can't remember who bought the other one. For some reason, I, I, do, I don't know if it was one of the, was it one of the Robins or was it CC? I can't, I cannot remember who the heck bought the other one that goes to it, but it is, it's, there's the back of it. So, um, exactly, that's exactly right, Barb. It's 16 and a half by 16 and a half square. Okay, Sandra, it was you then. Okay, well, here's the other one that goes to it. <laughs> I could not remember who bought it, but yep, here is its partner that I found in a totally different place. All right, I am going to count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Ugh, pardon my back, guys. I just don't have enough room on my table for everything, so I have to use my chair. Okay, time to put this back on. Ooh. Okay. All right, Melissa for 29, congratulations. Congratulations, thank you everybody that offered on that. Um, all 
All right. Um, and I have another picture for you guys. This one, I think that I, I can't freaking tell the difference. I think it's, I think it's cross stitch. Stitch matted and framed by in 1993. And it's uh, got the lady's name uh, by M.E. Profrock. Profrock. <laughs> wow, that's a mouthful. Profrock. <laughs> Isn't it cute? And it says, I remember Santa sledding. And I think this might be a 16 and a half by 16 and a half. 16 by 16 square. There's the back. This one is a flat price of $20, number 17. $20, number 17. Isn't it cute? Yes, I did, Poppy. You want to see it? Melissa, she's going to take that one too. Thank you, Melissa. Yes, I did. And I did use that black frame. And I kept the... I keep it... It's in my office. There it is. <laughs> Yep, it's in my office. Yeah, I love it. Uh, Poppy made that for me. You do a lot of needlepoint, Sandra? Yeah, my grandmother did too. Aw, oh, thanks, Poppy. I love it. I love it. All right. Guys, excuse me one second. I just want to grab some more iced tea real quick. Because as you know, I don't have anybody here helping me. So I have to get up and get it myself. I'm just going to leave the picture right here on this table. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. All right. Are you really? Ah. Okay. Next up, let me do some more jewelry. Okay, I have another um, vintage uh, piece. This is also Monet. Thanks, Angela. This is a Monet piece as well. Show you up close. Very pretty gold tone. It's in fantastic condition. It has a lobster claw clasp and it says Monet on the little dangle thing on the back. Um, I love this. I think this is so pretty. It is $16, number 44. 16, yes, Je yes, Jennifer. $16, number 44. Jelly beans or kidney beans. <laughs> but I think it's beautiful. I love the, um, the texture on it. 
absolutely beautiful. I love it. Forbidden beans. <laughs> All right, then I have this piece. Is it heavy? Uh-uh, not at all. No, it's very light, very light. Very light. Okay, um... Oh, Melissa wants to... Okay, you got it, Melissa. It's a beautiful necklace. It really is. All right. I will put that right there. I never did find that green brooch that someone won in the giveaway. I have no idea where the hell that thing went to. Uh, where am I here? Yeah, no, it's not heavy at all. Now, this next one is heavy. Um, this one is... This one is an Anne Klein. Binks hit it. I know, right? I can't find it anywhere. This is an Anne Klein piece, and it has a toggle clasp, gold tone. Look at how cool. Now, this is a nice statement piece. Anne Klein. I'll show you the, um, it says her name right there. And this is very, very pretty. I love it. It reminds me of a charm bracelet, only it's a necklace. This one is $15, number 43. $15, number 43 for the Anne Klein. I have no idea how in the hell this price tag came off. All right. Nell Cooper. Thanks, Nell. You got it. Thank you very much. That's a beautiful, it's a beautiful necklace. Okay, I'm going to do one more piece of jewelry, and then we're going to move on to something else. Now, this one is also Monet, and it is this beautiful bracelet, gold tone, and it's got the interlocking, it's like a chain, interlocking chain. Oh, you've been weeding. Oh, at least you can go outside and not freeze your ass off. Not here. Uh, this is the clasp, and it does say Monet on there. It's upside down, but it does say it. And I will tell you the size of this bracelet. Hang on. I will measure it. Um, it's seven... Seven and a half is the size. Seven and a half. And this bracelet is, hold on, let me hook it back up. $14, number 46. $14, number 46. Ramola, well, thank you, ma'am. All 
All right. And I do have more jewelry, but we'll get back to it. All right. Next up, this is an offer up, Miss Angela. And um, this, this is from 1996. And it's going to start at $16. And it is for the Bailey's Irish Cream Creamer and Sugar Set. So, yep, limited edition, 1996. Um... This one says yum on the back, and this one says yum on the inside. Now, these two are in perfect condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. So, I was happy to find these. I was like, oh, heck yeah. I just found the, the, cup, the two cups, and then I found the creamer and the sugar. I was like, holy cow. I'll show you each one up close. I know, aren't they? I love them. I think they're so cool. I like this. All right, I'm going to start to count them down, guys. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Hi, Becky. Sticky word that I forgot to get the sticky stuff from the sticker. All right, I see Angela sold to Poppy. All right, Poppy, thank you for twenty one. All right. You are very welcome. What are those? What those? The suit of thing. Oh. And that's music. All right. Because I'm a fucking phlegm ball. I'm sorry. Freaking phlegm ball. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. All right. Sorry for talking. This next item is this gorgeous Fenton Hobnail Planter. And it is in excellent condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. I love this. I think this is so pretty. It is four and three quarter inches tall. And it's about three and a quarter inches in diameter. Yes, anthropomorphic. <clears throat> yep, you got it, Heidi. I just love this. I think it's beautiful. This would look amazing with a succulent in it. It is $16, number seven. $16, number seven. You're welcome. I love anthropomorphic stuff. Melissa. Hi, Midge. See Donna's remark. Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, you bought the cup and the cups. You bought the cups. This was a creamer and sugar set. All right, so this is going to Melissa. 
You are welcome. All right, I will set that down there. All righty. This is a beautiful item, and it is in fantastic condition. This is an, a beautiful, elegant depression vase. It looks like, a, I, I'm going to say it's a, like a trophy vase, so to speak. And it has this beautiful etched pattern. And it is in perfect condition. Um, Poodle, they actually have a cookie jar. They got a coffee or a teapot. I, yeah, they have all kinds of stuff that I didn't know they had. Isn't it pretty, Joan? It's gorgeous. I love the design on it. Six and a half inches tall. Uh, three and three quarter inches diameter. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. So I love clear glass. I love clear glass. Um, oh, I forgot. It's an offer up, guys. Uh, sorry, Angela. Um, I'm starting it at $16. $16 is the starting um, price on this beautiful vase. Oh, my gosh. I just, I love it. I have no idea who makes it. I did not look it up. I know, shame on me. I'm still looking up um, some of the Fenton. Um, the, the creamer and sugar is, I, I looked it up. The pattern is called, um, Cranberry Opalescent Swirl Something. I don't know. I forgot now, but yeah, it's beautiful. Kahlua and Bailey's do not have a chance around here. <laughs> I used to love um, a white Russian. Oh, yummy. Tastes just like a chocolate shake. Oh, so good. So good. So fattening. Ten. Nine, eight, seven. Okay, fly girl, have a great weekend, my friend. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and sold. Mudslides, yum. <laughs> yum. This is a gorgeous vase. Oh my gosh. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful Poodle. All right, Poodle. Thank you. You got it. All right. Uh, there it is. You should have one of my polar bears. And what exactly is in a polar bear? I have never heard of that. Next up, I refrained myself from touching these because a few people said they liked them the way they were, so I did not touch them. However, if they don't sell today, I'm touching them. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have, Poppy. 
I have this beautiful set of pillar candle holders. I'm touching them. I'm touching them. Hello, my muffin. How are you, Nate? These are flat price. They're, um, I don't know what they're made out of. I don't know if it's some kind of resin or what. But that's the bottom. And I think they would fit a three-inch pillar candle on there. Uh, two and three-quarter inch pillar. <laughs> um... And they are seven and a quarter inches tall. $20 for the pair, number 27. $20 for the pair, number 27. Hazel, <laughs> you got them. Hazel likes those, or it's either Hazel or Jen, because they bid for each other, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, next up, I have um, this beautiful piece from Italy. Look at this gorgeous bowl, you guys. Oh, look at it. The rose is in perfect condition. I can't believe it. And so are the leaves. No chips, cracks, or flea bites on this. It is beautiful. There is your Italy mark. Hello, baby mama. <laughs> Nate. This beautiful bowl is $16, number five. $16, number five. I like Grandma better. <laughs> uh, Carrie Hauser. Okay, Carrie. Thank you. My girl Carrie sent me a few things too. So those are going to be in my next sale. Thank you, Carrie. All right. Uh... This is beautiful. I can't believe it's not damaged. I just can't. I'm shocked. I am shocked. And hopefully I don't damage it. All right. <sighs> Poodle, you're a trip. Hello, Patricia Kovacs. Welcome to the Nut House. Okay. <clears throat> this next item is an offer up, Angela. Oh, you like anything with roses? Okay. I'll remember that. I will remember that. Um, this is going to start at $16. Oh my gosh, this is just awesome. Oh my goodness. I wanted to paint the outside um, white, but everybody said it looks fine the way it is, so I left it alone. Because I thought it would look pretty if this was white with uh, sparkles on it for snow. 
but I didn't. I left it. I left it alone. And look how pretty this is. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> yes, I am Nurse Ratchet. It's medication time, gentlemen. Medication time. <laughs> I know, isn't it awesome? Look at how it sparkles. Oh my gosh. That is just amazing. It's a blizzard, yes. I'm telling you, because that's because of that, it's silver glitter and it just catches the light. And there must be a, a motor in there that whirls the glitter around. I mean, it's just amazing. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Yeah, and there's a light in the top that shines down. So, yeah. Um, let me just measure it for you real quick, and then we'll count it down. It's nine inches tall. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and sold. Oh, I love it. It's so stinking cute. It does not have a timer. So I'm just letting you know there is no timer. It's either on or off. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I just love it. Love it. All right. I can put it down here. There we go. All right, Donna, congratulations. And thank you, everybody, that offered on that. Donna, she got it for $24. All right. Oh, you want me to paint it? <laughs> the top of it, or you do? <laughs> Sorry, Donna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, this next item is also an offer up. No, it's not. I'm sorry, I lied. It's a flat price item. I have this beautiful Westmoreland blue frosted candy dish. It has the reticulated edges. It has a tiny flea bite. Let me find it. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. Right there. Don't pay attention to my nails I was crafting. And uh, let me see. And we have a little flea bite right there. See that? Tiny little flea bite. Craft nails are okay. Yeah, the tip of the, um, the little tip of that. But this is a gorgeous piece. I absolutely love this blue, the frosted blue. It has grapes and leaves on it. It isn't marked, but I know it's Westmoreland. And this piece is 
number 10. $18, number 10. Well, first of all, my nails are shot to begin with, and then you add paint and crap in there, and it just makes them even worse. But, you know, what can you do? All right. Uh, I'll put that over here. <laughs> oh my god, in glitter too. Hi Robert123. And I see Marge Albright would like number 10. Thank you, Marge. I'm gonna set it right here. I am gonna plug in my phone real quick. I had to get a shorter extension cord because the other one, um, I don't know what happened there. Okay. My next item is an offer up. And I'm going to start it at $16. Um, so guess what, Cindy? It wasn't the chair. I must have a pinched nerve or sciatica or something going on because it's still, it's still uh, happening. So I went and spent money on chairs that I didn't have to, but it's okay. This is a beautiful Fenton Cobalt Bell. It is uh, hand-painted and signed on the inside. Uh, it is signed by, hand-painted by Marilyn Wagner. I think it's Marilyn Wagner. It's very hard to see. Uh, this is gorgeous. OMG. Absolutely beautiful. Massage chair cushions. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm getting older and I'm just falling apart, y'all. <laughs> falling apart. But there's a close-up of the hand painting. No chips, cracks, or flea bites on this piece. Um, it's an offer up starting at $16. No, nah, no chiropractor for me. I They don't help me. I used to work for one. And it never really, never really did anything for me, so. And I don't have health insurance right now either, so. <laughs> no. Do you really, Nate? Exactly, Poodle. Well, see, when I was pregnant with Jessica, that's when my sciatic nerve got pinched. And it's been like that ever since. Um, but now that I'm old... Now it's just being a pain in the ass. You know, it would act up every now and again, but now it's just like a constant thing. Did you, did you, Patricia? That's exactly right, Karen. That's exactly right. Yeah, I was in agony when I was pregnant with Jessica. She, it was terrible. Oh my God. I'd be walking down the hallway and all of a sudden my leg would give out. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one, and sold. Yeah, it that it it sucked. Yeah. It was ugh. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I'll put it over here. All right, sold. I see the sold. Your phantom pregnancy, Nate. <laughs> sold to Robin C for 26. Congratulations, Robin. And thank you so much, everyone that offered on that. That's a gorgeous bell. All right. I have another thrift flip. Um, this was done on a cigar box. So just a quick story. Um, this did not, this is not how I originally started off with this, but I like it better now than I did when I first started working on it. This is an offer up starting at $18. So this is the box. There's the bottom. And there's the inside. Ah, uh, thank you. Here we go. This would make a lovely jewelry box. Or you could keep makeup on it on your dressing table or, you know. I, I just love how this turned out. I absolutely love it. I had it a totally different color and a totally different um, graphic on here. And yeah. Um, no, it was, but it is a, a wood cigar box, but it's not the box from the other day. Um, an adjustable bed and that helped. Plus an exercise my grandfather showed me years ago. Um, yes, I did. I made it, Donna. Yep. All right. I don't see any interest in that. That's perfectly fine. We'll put that aside. Um, I got to find room. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at there's Cheryl and Sandra. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Halt. I guess there's a lag. Wow. Thank you, guys. So it is, let me measure it for you guys real quick. It's nine inches long, five and three quarter inches deep, and one and a half inches tall. Thanks, Minnie. All right, I'm going to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
Cheryl for 30. Congratulations, Cheryl. And thank you, everybody, for offering on that. All right. All righty. Um, I'm going to do the rest of my jewelry really quick. All right. So this, this is a Sarah Coventry um, cross. It is silver tone. You changed your... Can you uh can you email me Carrie and let me know what the new one is please? She said, "Oh, look at the time." <laughs> Karen. <laughs> okay, thank you. This is beautiful. Pretty silver tone twisted chain again it is sarah i believe it's sarah coventry hang on one second um let me see hold on yes it is sarah yeah sarah coventry Very, very pretty. Uh, this piece is $15 and it's number 49. $15, number 49. There is the name on the, on the back. Ramola, thank you so much. That's a pretty cross. All right, Miss Ramola. All right, this next set is a vintage set, and I I just love it. Love it. This is a flat priced item. And of all days for Christy not to be here. Because she, I'm trying to get this to lay the right way. So this has um, a fish hook closure. It is a four strand necklace. And it has Matching earrings. Oh, there's Tippy Winks. It has matching earrings and a matching bracelet. Hi, Nathan. So here's the bracelet. I know, isn't it? And then here's the earrings. So for the whole set, I'm doing good. How are you, Nathan? It's $30, number 48. $30, number 48. Yes, Zsa Zsa. Yes, I did, Christy. Thank you so much. I try. I I didn't see it till um, this morning, and it wouldn't let me. Um, it, it said it wasn't available anymore. All right, no takers on that. That's perfectly fine. Oh my God, I love this. I think it's so beautiful. 
All right, I will put that aside. All right, and this is my last um, jewelry item today. And this is also a set. Hold on one second. I got to hook it. Okay, and these are marked. I got to grab my magnifying glass, guys. Because it's marked and I can't see it. Hi, Snuggles. Germany, Germany. All right, so let me hook this. I have this gorgeous three Strand crystal necklace with the matching earrings. Made in Germany. Oh my God, would you look at the sparkle on that set? Wow. Here's the earrings. And it says Germany. I know you can't see it. It's focusing on my, my rough hands. Um, this set is $25, number 47. $25, number 47. Oh my God, I know, right, Donna? Oh, this is a gorgeous set. Look at these earrings. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Let me put this aside. Okie dokie. Moving on. Um, this is an offer up. Starting at It's about 12 and three quarter inches tall. And it is this art glass snowman. Oh my goodness. He is amazing. He is amazing. <laughs> I love him. There's his hat. Let me show you. Oh, he, ha he has, he's hollow. So if you wanted to, you could stick fairy lights up in there. And that would look amazing, I think, with fairy lights. Yes. He is in excellent condition. You spit your beer out, poodle? What did Nate said? My allure had become too strong. <laughs> okay. I don't know what y'all are talking about, but, you know, go on with your bad self. <laughs> All right. I am going to count this cutie down. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Now this guy, I laid down because I do not want him tipping over. Heck no. Because he ain't light. Okay, I see the sold. And Cheryl is going to get that for 35 Congratulations. And thank you, um, Gypsy, for bidding on that. All right. Bye, Judy. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Next up, I have this. Um, this is a flat-priced item. It is this awesome mid-century modern coffee pot. Look at that lid. How cool is that? I don't know if the handle's Bakelite because I didn't test it, but um, I mean, it's in great condition, condition considering its age. I mean, the gold paint is still in good condition. Now, you need to have one of those wire things um, if you have an electric stove. Uh, they say you need the wire thing um, that you put on the burner for it. Um, this is $16 and it's number 11, $16 number 11. And it's such a cool piece. All right. Next I have. Um, this is a cute set. I always think of people that live in like Texas and thereabouts. There is this cute set of ornaments uh, that's just, they're, they're made by Red Shed. So rustic and we got the wagon wheel, we got a saddle, a star, a, a red hot chili pepper, and... Whatever that is, a rope, a rope, I don't know. <laughs> but I thought it was a cute little set. And this is $10, number 20, a belt buckle. There you go, CC. It's a belt buckle. Uh, $10, number 23. $10, number 23. I thought they were really cute. Ramola, thank you. These are so cute. A belt buckle. Why did I not think of that? Wow. Okay. All righty. Okay, we're, we're getting down, guys. We're getting down. Let me bring these items over. Okay, I wanted to open this and put that one, where is it, candle in here just to show you guys. this cool lantern. I didn't do anything to this. This is the way I bought it. It's this pretty sage green color. And I, I do believe it is made out of wood. And the this is not glass though. It's kind of like plexiglass. But how pretty is this? This would look so cute hanging outside. I love it. And it measures 
about uh, 15 and a half inches tall. And this is, where's my lantern? Do, 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 do. Okay, let me put it down. $16, number 37. $16, number 37. Robin, you got it. So hopefully the heat from the candle will not um, bother the, the plexiglass. You might want to put a smaller candle in there, but it's definitely not glass glass. All right, put that in there, put this over here. All righty. Okay. I'm just bringing some stuff here in front of me, guys, so that I can get at it. All right, this is the next item. This is an offer up starting at $18. This is... Um, New Martinsville, New Martinsville, and the pattern is called Viking Prelude. Uh, I have to write down Robin. Yeah, Robin Boyd got the lantern. Okay, so it is, uh, again, New Martinsville, and the pattern is called the Viking Prelude. Now, it does have utensil marks. You can see them. It does have utensil marks, but of course, you know, they used this beautiful stuff. They It was used, you know, so that's to be expected. And I mean, it is from the Depression era and it's got this beautiful base. Yes, isn't it gorgeous? And it is... Um, 11 and a quarter inches in diameter. And it's about five inches tall. And it is, it is beautiful, isn't it? I love it. The pattern is gorgeous. Boy, I had to do my research to find this pattern because it was not in the only book I have. So, um... I see Mozzie at 20. If there's no other interest, I'm going to count it down. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. That is a beautiful, beautiful cake plate. Stunning. Stunning! All right, Mozzie, congratulations and thank you so much. All 
All right, I do have a couple decorative plates today. I have this one, which is um, Louise Bavaria. And it's this pretty fruit plate. Relax, um, Hazel. <laughs> there is the mark on the back. J and C. Um, there's no chips, cracks, or flea bites. There is a little bit of wear on the gold paint. And this plate is eight and a half inches. It is $16, number two. $16, number two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Hazel. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Now, this next plate is absolutely beautiful. But before I show it to you, I just want you to be aware that there is a crack in the handle. Um, but it is an offer up nonetheless. I'm starting it at $16. And first off, let me show you, there is the crack. Now for shipping purposes, I will run a bead of super glue along that crack so that it doesn't crack any further. This is a beauty, oh my goodness. It isn't marked. There's absolutely nothing on the back. And I, it has lilacs on it. Oh, I just love this. Absolutely love this. And guys, remember the other one? I found all three of these plates the same day at Goodwill. The other one was pink and white and it had like a Victorian scene on it. And... It was, it had damage, uh, a couple chips on the underside. Don't you know I was washing it? No, I washed it. I had it sitting in the sink and I was washing something else and it slipped out of my hand and fell and broke the, the freaking plate. So now I'm trying to glue it and I'm just going to keep it. But anyways, and I have rubber gloves. Just for that reason, and I never put them on because I'm stupid. But anyways, all right. I don't see any interest in this, so I will put it aside. Yeah, Robin. Oh, my God. I was so mad. I was so mad. I'm like, you dummy. You have rubber gloves. Why in the hell don't you put them on? Just too lazy to bend down under the sink and get them out, you know? But anyways, okay. So. All right. Okay. Um, I do have this beautiful um, candy dish. And I think this is, is this the Manhattan pattern? I have two silver trays today. Denise, but I don't have the oval one. That one I'll put in, in my sale next week. Um, yes, exactly. That's a great idea, Karen. Uh, this one looks like carnival glass, but it's not really carnival glass. It's just painted to look that way. It does have that oil slick... Um, Look to it. It is blue. Hi, Val. Here's the bottom. No chips, cracks, or flea bites on this beautiful candy dish. 
Here is the inside of the lid. And this is a nice size candy dish. Windsor pattern, that's it, Manhattan. I know what Manhattan is. I meant Windsor. I don't know where I got Manhattan from. Um, it's seven and a half inches in diameter. And up to the top of the handle, it's five inches tall. Windsor, thank you. Um, this is $18 and it is number, hold on, <laughs> six, number six. $18, number six. Hazel Atlas, you got it. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Vintage Tupperware, guys. And this thing is in amazing condition. You're welcome. It is in amazing condition. It has all of its parts. This is the, um, the steamer. Um, oh, you have the pink one? Yes, I did sell a pink one at one time. Um, usually... When you find this, there's no strainer most of the time. Or you find it with the strainer and the separator piece is missing. I was very happy to find it with all of its pieces and in fantastic condition. Fantastic condition. Um, so it's nice if you want to make two different kinds of vegetables for dinner that's why they give you that separator and you can steam them. Um, here's the bottom. Try to hold the separator because my price tag. There's the bottom. If you are interested in this awesome steamer, it is $16, number nine. $16, number nine. Oh, they're fantastic. I have one. Same thing with the deviled egg um, dishes. <laughs> All right. So that's going to go to Robin Boyd. Thanks, Robin. So I sold the deviled egg container at my drop sale, but I never got any information from the person. So I'll end up, it'll end up coming up in another sale. Hi, Barbara. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. I have two beautiful... Silver plated trays. One is a large and one is medium size. Um, I'm going to, sh I'll show them both to you. This is the medium size. And I think they have almost the same pattern. Almost. This is the medium and this one is the large. And uh, one of these, there was a sticker on this one that would have said the maker, but the sticker's gone. And I don't see anything on this one either. So this is the back. And this is the back of this one. You could see where the sticker was right there. So, all right, so the large one is uh, 16 inches in diameter, and the medium size one is uh, 14 and a half. 
If you are interested in the large one, this one is $20, number 34. $20, number 34. There's the pattern on that one. And then the medium-sized one, which is 14 and a half inches, is $16, number 35. $16, number 35. And if they don't sell like this, I'm going to flip them. <laughs> but I figured I would offer them just the way they are first. All right. Okay, next up is an offer up. I'm going to flip them. <laughs> um, this is an offer up starting at uh, $16. And it is for both of these. These are the Tilso. I believe that's who makes them. Tilso. And they consider them to be like pixies. But I remember these from like the 60s. And they have, um, this one has a tag that says made in Hong Kong. And they are plastic, a hard, a hard plastic. And I don't know if my grandparents had these or what, but I just think they're so flippin' cool. There's that one. He's playing like a mandolin or something. And um, she's playing drums. And I guess these, why is this on there? There's like poinsettias too, poins, poinsettias on there. So maybe these are, they're considered pixies for Christmas. Jeannie has a question. Um, No. I don't remember, the person's name is a new name um, that I never heard of. Did you change your, did you change your name, Jeannie? Because I never, um, I never heard of this person. It was somebody new. Oh, absolutely, mid-century, yeah. All right, I don't see any interest in those, so I will put those aside. All right, I have two items left. Two items left. My kids changed my name to Nee. Oh, that then it was you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then it's you, Jeannie. All right, girl. I will put you down. I'm like, who is Nene something or other? All right. <laughs> oh, Anne. Hi, Anne. Okay, I see Anne at $16. If there's no other interest, I'll count it down. <laughs> 10, 9. You're welcome, sweetie. <laughs> 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sold. <laughs> I was wondering, because I'm like, I have no idea who this person is. I hope they sent me their info. Oh, they're messing with you? <laughs> All right. Okay, so my girl Ann is going to get those. Thank you, Ann. How are you? Okay. I love this piece. Oh, good. Yay. This piece would be perfect for fall or for Halloween. 
Um, it is this very cool, this is a orange. It's like a butternut squash orange. Uh, ruffled bowl, pedestal bowl. And this was a telefloral item. It's got a clear bottom. And I just love it. This is brown. Perfect fall colors. Oh my gosh, I love this piece. Isn't it a great color? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a it's a nice bright orange color. It's beautiful. Um, this is $18, number 24. $18, number 24. Homeschool Lou! Hi, Lou. <laughs> you got it. Thank you, Lou. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, absolutely. All right. And my last item is a flip. And I did this in my last three. Now, why are these not sticking? I'm mad. I'm going to have to, like, actually glue them, glue them. I put these little bumper things on the bottom. I'm going to have to actually glue them on because this sticky stuff, probably because of the wax, is not sticking. So they're just sticking to my fingers. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, and this is the planter box that I did. Um, this is going to start at $16. You are very welcome, Lou. And um, it's just a wood planter box. It was just a, a plain brown wood box when I started. And I just added these beautiful transfers to it. And I put little ball feet. The inside is only painted with one coat of white paint. And let me tell you the size of this. It's eight and a quarter by five inches wide. Oh, thank you. And it's uh, almost five inches tall. Um, but I would suggest if you plant real flowers in here to put a plastic liner in here because there's no drainage holes or anything in this. And you don't want the wood to get rotten. All right, so I'm going to start to count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Slide this over so I can put this stuff down here. All right, I see the sold. Auntie Gabby? Well, thank you. <laughs> she said, yeah, buddy. Thanks, Gabby. And thank you, everybody, for offering on that. Oh, thank you. Gabby wasn't playing. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Gabby. <laughs> oh, I got to find it on here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, do, 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 do. There it is. Thank you, everybody, for offering on that. And congratulations to Gabby. 
All right, guys. So, um, I'm just going to run through the few items that didn't sell really quickly. And then um, I'm going to do my giveaway. So, don't forget, guys, Vintage Vinny is at 6 and Pamela Blanchard is at 8. Nate and Katie are at 10 and also Sandy and Otto is at 10. All right, so I'm just going to show, um, well, I already showed the two trays just now, so I'm not going to show those again. Um, I did have this beautiful, genuine uh, suede leather barrel purse. And it's in excellent condition. It's got little feet on the bottom to protect it. And this purse is... $18 and it's number 16. $18 number 16. Um then I had this beautiful crystal um necklace with the matching earrings. The set was $25, number 47. Melissa, all right, you got it. Thank you. And then I had, this set is just, I love this set. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. Um, the Vintage Beads Four Strand Necklace with the matching double bracelet and the earrings. And this set was $30, number 48. $30, number 48. Hi, Derek. Oh, Nell Cooper. Nell Cooper wants that beautiful set. Isn't it gorgeous, Nell? Oh, my God. It is just beautiful. Thanks, Nell. Okay, and then I had... Let me put this over here because I don't want to mix it up. Um, I had the Mid-Century Modern Coffee Pot. It's four cups. Um, and this one is $16, number 11. You just saw the silver trays. And the only other thing that didn't sell is the um, lilac plate. It does have the, the crack here. Uh, this was an offer up starting at $16, if anyone's interested in that, and it was number three, number three. And that's it. That's it, guys. So we're going to get into the giveaway. All right. So the giveaways for today... I have two awesome cups. Oh, you're welcome, Doris. Thanks for being here. Thank you to my moderators. Thank you, Angela, for calling my starts and stops. And thank you to my moderators for your help. Oh, Val is going to take that pretty plate. Val, I'm going to run a bead of super glue on that crack so that it doesn't um, crack any further, okay? Thanks, Val. Uh, let me see. I, 
I'll put it over there later. All right. We have a Winnie the Pooh cup. I know, isn't it adorable? And we've got a large snowman. You're welcome, Val. Snowman cup. Perfect for coffee, hot chocolate, you know, whatever. And then I have... Do we have any hot chocolate? It sounds really good. No, I don't think so. And then I have this wood, cute little wood basket. I was going to do a flip on it, but I'm like, eh, I got enough stuff to flip. <laughs> so those are the three giveaways. So I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, you guys have to guess what I wrote down. Um, I'm thinking of a flower, a flower. Oh, we got a winner already. That was quick as all get out. <laughs> Karen K. <laughs> Karen K. guessed sunflower first. <laughs> yes, she did. That was, that was quick. Karen, what would you like? What would you like, dear? The snowman cup. Okay. I should have known that. <laughs> should have known. Should have known. All right, Karen. Okay. Okay, Angela. I'll see you at Pamela's sale. Thank you so much. Okay. For the next item, I am thinking of, this is a hard one. A cartoon character. A cartoon character. I will tell you, it is a Looney Tune cartoon. It is a Looney Tune cartoon character. Scooty. <laughs> yeah, he's a character, all right? CC. CC. Porky Pig. <laughs> Cheryl said, no idea. Porky Pig. Please double check me, guys. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's the first time I saw it was CC. Okay. CC, what would you like? The poo mug or the wood basket? Yes, you may. Okay. She gets the poo mug. Okay, so now we're just going for the basket. This should be easy. This should be easy. I'm thinking of a color. <laughs> Three or four. <laughs> okay, we got a winner. <coughs> Homeschool Lou. 
first person, purple. Homeschool Lou. So you get the basket. Yay! Well, congratulations to the winners today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. I'm about to order myself some DoorDash for dinner. <laughs> I got to get some groceries. Oh my goodness. Can we get a hot chocolate? <laughs> uh, thank you, Miss Cheryl. Thank you so much. So like I said, um, I will be invoicing for the drop sale stuff uh, together with today's sale as well. Uh, thanks, Karen. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And have a great rest of your weekend. Aw, thank you, guys. All right. Poor Hazel. No driving. I got to ship her goodies. <laughs> Yeah, you're funny, Marianne. <laughs> sure. All right, bye, guys. Thank you, Gypsy.